Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is definitely a much different setup of video. We are doing a vloggy vlog. So at the beginning of this year, I actually asked you guys if you wanted to see more vlogs. A lot of you said a resounding yes ma'am. So here I am coming through with the vlogs. I basically want to start like an Exploring Atlanta series. Obviously when the pandemic slows down a little bit more, but I am going to be going out on the road today. So today's video is just going to be kind of like a little day in the life of Alyssa Marie kind of thing. I got a couple things planned for today. It's not going to be anything crazy or like super exciting, but I just wanted to take you guys along the day with me. So first I'm actually going to do a little bit of spring cleaning. I know it's June, but I wanted to do some spring cleaning of my lipsticks. I have, like, I'm a lipstick hoarder. The rest of my makeup, like my foundations and that kind of thing, I'm pretty good at cleaning out, but when it comes to lips, I'm a little bit of a hoarder. So I wanna go ahead and clean that out and show you guys how you can figure out whether or not your lipstick is actually expired. So we're gonna go through that really quickly and then we're gonna head out on the road. I want to go to Target and kind of shop around a little bit for some more black owned brands and kind of show you guys which brands are black owned that you can go ahead and pick up from your local Target. And then I also asked you guys for some black owned suggestions here in Atlanta. So I'm gonna be checking out Sublime Donuts today as well. I'm super, super excited about it. It's a black owned donut shop. Yes, I'm ready for some dessert. So let's go ahead and get into it let's go ahead and start with a spring cleaning all right let me show you guys boom it's like lipstick central it's actually pretty crazy in here eventually i actually maybe we can check for this at target i actually want to get one of those acrylic things where the lipsticks can just stand up in it and it looks super neat like that's definitely what i want but I also need to clear a lot of these out because I know a lot of these lipsticks are at least over like two, three years old. And that's like not okay. All right, so let's have a quick look at this. My Fenty lipsticks, I can't part with them yet. I just, I literally can't. So I'm going to keep those. Let's see. Okay, so this is a Pat McGrath lipstick. Oh my gosh, it's like the most beautiful red lipstick look at this let me swatch it for you real quick real quick mm, look at how beautiful this is i feel like i don't want to throw it away but anyway so on the bottom of this lipstick you can see where it says 18 months is a shelf life so let me see if i can can y'all see this i will definitely insert a little clip here that will show you what the shelf life symbol looks like on products so you will find this on all your cosmetics your makeup it is usually on there so when it says 18 m that means that product after 18 months is expired i feel like this is not too far past 18 months and i mean look at the red it's beautiful so i can't part with it this is a problem oh my gosh the doorbell rang excitement who's at the door hershey <laughs> ah! <laughs> all right i'll be right back i gotta get the door all right let's get back into the spring cleaning you're gonna spring clean with me what a sweet baby yes you are look at her guys i love her so much hershey it's your first vlog you're doing great ah, all right let's get into this see what else we got here okay Too Faced melted matte liquid lipstick i also love this i love this color let's see what this says this says 12 months 100 percent. this is definitely definitely expired but it's just with lipsticks it's kind of hard to tell like like usually with foundations when it's expired you will see the oil separating and all that but this just looks it looks fine makes it hard to throw away but i'm gonna create like a little expired pile down here on the floor all right what is this oh this is ofra oh my god i had this back in college is when i ordered this which is probably around 2016 this is four years old everything has like rubbed off of it this is 1000% gotta go in the throwaway pile Ooh, it looks kind of dry and crusty too yeah no not a good look Let's throw this out. Go ahead and comment below. How many of you people actually knew that makeup expires? Because I actually did not know and actually didn't realize what that symbol meant 
until I heard other people talking about it and I was like, wait, what? Next up, we got Ashton Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Six months? You're supposed to finish a whole liquid lipstick in six months? That is wild. I've definitely had this for at least, at least four years because I definitely had this in college as well. Yeah, that's gonna have to go in the expired pile. So Dose of Colors definitely does not have an expiration date on their products. I don't know if this means that they just don't expire or I don't know. I don't know what that means. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna just put all the Dose of Color in a separate pile because that's kind of weird. I might need to switch out a little bit. Ooh, okay. Let me show you guys. That is an expired lipstick. Ew. Okay, so the Fenty lipsticks have a shelf life of 12 months, so one full year. I know I've definitely had this over a year though. I think. Have I had this over a year? My gosh, it's hard to think back. But yeah, this just does not look good. That's gonna have to go in the expired pile. Yikes. This black is also not looking good. I feel like I've only had the black since last year Halloween though. Or was it the Halloween before? Guys, this is harder than I thought. I can't remember when I bought things. It's not looking good though. It's all like super separated. I don't like how that looks. Expired. Oh, so this is interesting. Black Up actually has 24 months of a shelf life. For their lip pencils which is really really good that's two years but is that actually good does that mean this is chocked full of preservatives that's like not healthy for you i don't know but i've definitely had this more than two years expired this blue lipstick is definitely old definitely old i don't know if you can actually tell by looking at it but she's old let's see what the shelf life is that's interesting the Urban Decay does not have a shelf life on the actual stick. So you know how lipsticks usually come in packaging? It usually comes in that little box. I'm thinking that maybe Dose of Colors and Urban Decay have the shelf life printed on those boxes, but who keeps their lipsticks in a box? Like, how do I know now if this is expired or not? I've definitely had this over two years though, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in the expired pile. I feel like two years is kind of the limit that I've seen so far. This has a shelf life of six months. Expired. So this is the throw out slash expired pile. This is the I don't know what to do with it pile, but I think these are all the Dose of Colors lipsticks that I know I've had for at least over two years. I think I'm unfortunately gonna go ahead and throw them in there. I wasn't super excited about the shade range anyway. And then here is how we're looking in here. So I've tried to organize it up a little bit. Y'all can see who I'm most obsessed with. I mean, Fenty, come on. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and add lipstick organizer on my Target list to see if maybe we can find that at Target so we can get this super nice and organized. But I think we did good. I hope I don't go too crazy at Target now. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Boom, done, goodbye expired lipstick. Project number one complete. Yay, Hershey, we did it, yeah we did. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on some jeans, grab my bag and we're gonna head out. I'm gonna keep my Black Lives Matter shirt on today. This is a cool one that I purchased from Etsy. Actually, they purchased it, we got matching shirts. I love it and I also love the fact that proceeds, like a certain percentage of their proceeds when you buy the shirt goes towards the Black Lives Matter movement. So that's cool too. I'll put the Etsy link below. So yeah, right now just got my little house shorts on. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some jeans and then I will be back. All right, so here is the final fit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have a full length mirror. Actually, I know where I can show you guys. Boom, full fit. Jeans by Zara, <laughs> shirt by Etsy. Yes. She's so crazy. Can you get down, please? That's it, let's go. Oh, she's looking at this guy. Look, he's got two dogs. Am I allowed to video people like this? 
Look. All right, it's okay. Calm your kids. All right, so this is the part where Hershey always starts to get so upset at me. She hates when I leave her. Um, and it's like she wants nothing to do with me since I'm leaving her. Flash, we'll check her in the next room. You be a good girl, please, all right? I'll see you in a little bit. We're just going to Target and we're getting some donuts. Yeah. Yeah, mama. All right, bye, baby. I love you. <laughs> she will never come downstairs with me. She just stands there and is like, are you really leaving me? Is that really what you're about to do? Time to go. This is kind of fun taking y'all with me. It's kind of nice. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you guys are actually enjoying this so far, because I kind of am. This is kind of fun. So if you want more vlogs, we can do more vlogs. Just let me know what you want and we can do it. So like I was explaining, the first stop is gonna be Target. Actually, the first stop is gonna be McDonald's. We gotta do like a little pit stop. I haven't eaten all day. It is what? Minutes to one. It's 10 minutes to one o'clock and I haven't eaten all day. I have a really bad habit of doing that actually. So I'm gonna make a quick pit stop at McDonald's, get me some breakfast, because they got the all day breakfast. Egg and cheese biscuit every time. I know it's bad, but it's what I want. And then after, so after McDonald's, we're gonna hit up Target, check out some black owned brands there. And then after that, we are going to go to Subline Donuts for the first time ever, which is also black owned and in Atlanta. Just a quick pit stop, just super quick. That was delicious. I'm a little bit mad that like, I'm a little bit ashamed that McDonald's kind of hit the spot for me like that, but $3 just hit the spot. All right, well, let's head on over to Tajay. Before we mask up, let me just take a quick mental note of what we need. So we're going to the beauty section to check out some black owned brands over there. I did a little bit of research. I do have a couple notes in my phone. Um, so I'll be referring to those while vlogging with you guys. And then I need to pick up some chicken breast for Hershey. I'm going to boil some chicken for her tonight. It's a nice little treat. And then the lipstick tray. We need to find a lipstick tray in here or a couple of lipstick trays. So yeah, that's our to-do list. Hopefully I don't come out with additional things, but it's Target. You never know. All right. I really hope you guys can hear me with this mask on. Let's go. Let's get her done. so carried away in Target so I was really trying to tell myself throughout that whole time like calm down don't buy everything um so I'm gonna just show y'all what I did get so it was a little bit difficult to talk with my mask on there so most of that was me just showing you which black owned brands I saw in my local Target I actually did some research and a lot of people have actually made a few lists of black owned brands that you can find in Target so up on the screen right now, I'm about to put up that list of all black owned brands. Some may not be at your local Target, like how it wasn't at mine. But then again, it could also, maybe it will be at your local Target. And you can just pause the video really quickly and screenshot this, and then you can refer to this the next time you go to Target. So yeah, what I did end up getting was my usual Curls Blueberry Bliss Vitamins. 
these are liquid vitamins that are so bomb this is probably my third consecutive bottle that i just purchased my hair is just so much happier on it my nails also so so much stronger um so i really really love these vitamins and i'm trying to keep them up for a while to see like how much growth we really can get yes curls of course black and women owned which i love actually that's one thing that i noticed like in target they're were a lot of natural hair care brands which is cool like the thing about natural hair care brands most of them are already black and women owned just because we're the ones who have the natural curly hair um so that's one of the things i really really enjoy about the natural hair industry i did notice like a huge difference in the beauty section of target though there were probably four black owned brands in there um yeah that could use some updating for sure but in terms of beauty products what i was able to pick up was colored rain so this brand is new to me i've heard of it before but it never ever really caught my eye honestly i didn't know anything about it i had no idea it was black owned but when i did my research colored rain did come up so i purchased two liquid lipsticks here so one in the shade bachelorette then the other in the shade cappuccino so these are the two shades i'm a nudie kind of neutral tone kind of girl so that's what i went with but really really excited to try this because this is my first time actually trying anything from this brand at all and that's kind of really what i wanted from target i wanted to find some newer black owned brands that i haven't used before because i have quite a few at home but i want to explore more then i also picked up some black radiance goodies so i went with this concealer it's their true complexion hd corrector concealer oh shoot i think this is actually a color corrector and not a concealer what a flop i don't know i'm gonna use it and see if maybe it can still be used as a concealer dang it well i picked up a color corrector which i don't really normally use but then i also picked up a mascara by black radiance as well because i noticed that i don't have any black owned well i have one black owned mascara at home and not really a fan of it so i picked this up i'm gonna try this out and see if i'm obsessed with it as well oh and there's actually one more hair product in here camille rose so you know i had to pick up my curls and camille rose there were so many other products in there that i was tempted to get but i have a bookcase like a full bookcase of products at home and i just couldn't do it to myself not right now i think what i might do is actually purchase a bunch of black owned curly girl products and maybe do a giveaway actually what do y'all think about that and i might do the giveaway for y'all here on youtube because i do giveaways on instagram but i haven't done one on youtube in the longest time comment below and let me know what y'all think but yeah so this camille rose algae renew deep conditioning mask is supposed to be the bomb.com i used it a long 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 time ago when my hair was like this short so I remember thinking it was like okay but I feel like my hair was like so short that everything felt the same in my hair so now I want to give this another try I've been trying to pick it up at this Target and it's always out of stock this was the last one so people clearly love it so yeah that is all I personally picked up today they did not have the lipstick trays which I was a little disappointed by I don't feel like going up and around the place to find them I just knew that I was going to Target, so I was going to check Target for them. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and end up ordering those online. So if you guys are interested in seeing which ones I end up going with, I will probably tag that on my Instagram stories. So just make sure you're following me on there. All right, so our last stop for the day is going to be Sublime Donuts. I think I'm the most excited about this because I have a super sweet tooth and I'm really excited for some bomb donuts. And they are black owned, so amazing, duh. Ooh, I am excited. Let's do this. So cute in here. Oh, oh wow, I'm ready. I'm so ready. Ooh, let me get some of this. Yes. It's about to be lit, y'all. Okay, it is so cute in there. I love it. So, this is what I got. 
is the butter toffee donut. It was two bucks and it looks super gourmet. I'm very excited. Mmm. Wow. Very crunchy. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Wow, I love this. I love it. Mmm. Oh my gosh, shout out to you guys for suggesting Sublime. Worth the drive because, wow. This is like not too sweet. It's just perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. And I love that it has like a nice little crunch on top. And then the donut itself. Mm. Wow. And you know what's the sweetest part? Black owned, baby. So by the way, this Sublime Donuts is located right near the Georgia Tech campus. So if you are watching me and you are a student at Georgia Tech and you haven't had Sublime Donuts, what you doing? You gotta go ahead and check this out. It is thebomb.com. So yeah, guys, that is basically it for the vlog. I'm about to go home and probably start editing it. <laughs> so thanks so much for rocking with me today, you guys. I had so, so much fun. Again, I'm still trying to get more used to vlogging. So I'm gonna be trying different techniques, um, different vlogging equipment. Like I'm definitely thinking about investing in an actual vlogging camera, something that's super lightweight and actually just not my phone. Little switch up from the hair tutorials. Let me know what y'all think though. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.